This is Mrs. Lopez, and we are looking at subject verb agreement today. Looking at subject verb agreement, we are looking in the present tense and saying if the subject is singular or plural, what does my verb need to be in the present tense for there to be a match? Uh, first, we need to locate the subject and verbs that are in a sentence. So the tadpole has a body and tail and live in the water. And I will tell you, there's a mistake in that sentence, and we're going to talk about that. So the subject of the sentence, the who or what that the sentence is about, that is tadpole. And the verb that matches the tadpole, the verb is right here, has. So the first verb is has, but there's another verb in this sentence. So the tadpole has, they match, a body and tail and live. So here's the problem. That live should be a lives. So in your notes, you should have has and that live should be changed to a lives because it's just one tadpole. I then need an S on my verb. So when I have a singular subject, I have a plural verb. So I get one singular and one plural in the sentence for everything to work. For subject is singular or plural. So looking here, frogs lay eggs in egg masses. We find that our subject, the who or what that the sentence is about, is frogs. And frogs has an S. That means that it's plural. So then to mark the plural here, we're going to make a shape. The shapes are right here. I like a circle to find, to circle a word. I'm going to go around the plural. And I'm going to make my border three. I'm going to make it red so it stands out and I'm going to make it transparent in the middle so it's circling. So this one's plural. Now, looking at the verb, is the verb singular or plural? So we have frogs lay eggs and egg masses, same sentence, and our verb here is lay. Ooh, didn't actually want that to be red. Um, so frogs lay, so frogs is plural, lay is then singular, so I'm going to copy my circle, and I'm going to control, control C to copy, control V to paste, and I'm going to bring it down here and circle that singular. Now, the last thing we're looking for um, is to check for subject verb in mentor text. So we're looking here. The egg is coated in a jelly-like covering that protects the eggs. The subject here is eggs. And that's plural. The verb, the verb is is. The eggs is, and this does not match. Four forms of B. I need to have R. It should be the eggs are coated in jelly. So that does not agree. And oh, there's not a text box here. So I should press, well, let's pull it over. The T to make a text box, click and drag to make a text box, and I need to say no, they do not agree. Moving down on the page, you need to use a noun and verb in your sentence, and they need to match. If the noun is singular, then you will have to add an S to the verb. If the noun is plural, then the verb has no S at the end. And I want you to come up with your own sentence that has a matching subject and a verb.